Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate trifles and what's great about these is that you could just go to the store and buy everything you need. So if you don't want to make anything from scratch then you don't need to. You're going to need about 80 to 160 milliliters of Baileys or an alternative liqueur, 150 grams of cream cheese and 300 milliliters of double cream. You're going to need 150 grams of custard and that can be canned or fresh or it can even be homemade. And I have homemade meringues, but you could just buy them from the store, 30 grams roughly. And then I've got 130 grams of a chocolate cake that I've just crumbled up. I've also got 80 grams of chocolate drops, or you can use chocolate buttons. I've got some chocolate to grate, and I've also got 100 grams of dark chocolate to melt. So the first thing that we're going to do is over a double boiler or in the microwave you need to melt that dark chocolate. Over a double boiler it'll probably take you three to five minutes to get it completely smooth and you just want to do it over a simmering heat and it shouldn't take too long really but just make sure that you keep stirring it. In the microwave it will take less time so just be careful of that because chocolate can burn and you want to keep stirring it and mixing it until all of the large chocolate lumps are completely melted but it's okay if you've got a few air holes in there, not a problem. Just once you're finished put it on the side because it just needs a couple of minutes to cool before we can go to the next stage. Of my 200 millilitres of double cream, and that is either known as thick cream, heavy cream, more than 35% fat is basically what you're looking for. You can use whipping cream as well. And you need to, in a large bowl, you can do it by hand, but I would recommend using the electric hand whisk because it's just so much quicker. You need to mix it until it gets to that really stiff stage. You don't want to over mix it and turn it into butter, but you do want to get it really thick because once it's got to that thick stage, we're going to add the Baileys and that's really going to bring it back so it ends up at sort of soft peaks. So you can see there that it's really thick and we're going to add about half of our Baileys. Now I am quite generous with the Baileys because I absolutely love it. So I'm using two thirds of a cup, 160 milliliters, but you could either leave it out or you can use something else. If you leave it out, just be aware that your cake is going to be a little bit dry, so maybe you wanna add some jam, or maybe you wanna add some canned fruit or something in there, just to add a little bit of extra moisture, but you obviously wouldn't be adding that to the cream stage. I'm now adding my full fat cream cheese. It really does need to be full fat, and I'm gonna mix it until it's really smooth. You could use mascarpone if you want to as well. That works really, really well. So you can see here that it's really smooth now. It's pretty much done and you need to keep going until that stage and you'll just find it a lot easier if that cream cheese is at room temperature. Here I've got my chocolate and it's cooled down a little bit because it's been off the heat for about five or 10 minutes and I'm adding my custard. This is canned custard, so it's really quite thick. My preference normally is for fresh store-bought, but I wasn't able to get my hands on any, so I had to use the canned kind. Uh, you will find the consistency of a fresh custard or a homemade custard is usually quite a bit thinner. So what that's gonna do is affect how thick the custard is here. So just so that you're aware of that. And you just need to mix it until it's completely and fully incorporated. And it won't take long. I've got here some stemless wine glasses that I got from Ikea. Link will be in the description box below. And all you're gonna do is add just a little bit of that cake to the bottom. Now you can cut it, you can crumble it, you can have it really fine, you can have it more chunky. Whatever you like, whatever works for you. Just add some to the bottom and you might need to push it down just a little bit. The amount of Baileys that you add is completely up to you. Um, I wouldn't say to add more than a tablespoon or so because you don't want it to be soggy, but it is completely up to you. 
other things that work really well like amaretto that sort of thing for texture we're going to add some chocolate chips just add a small handful it you know you don't really need to add a lot but it's just giving it that extra texture if you don't have chocolate chips then you can use chocolate buttons or you could just roughly chop a bar of chocolate the next thing that we're going to add to it is our cream cheese mixture that's got the Baileys in so that's why it's a bit more of a creamy color if you want to make this look neat and you want to have really defined layers then I would recommend piping into these glasses with both the cream cheese mixture and also the custard mixture because you'll just get a bit of a neater finish but it looks less I don't know somehow it looks a little less appetizing there is just something about it looking a little bit messy that I really like and just to get it into the glasses I'm just using two teaspoons Now on top of that I'm adding in my meringue. Now I made sort of not big meringues but they were much bigger than would have looked attractive and would have been suitable for this dessert. So all I did was I just broke the pieces of meringue up. These are a chocolate meringue um, so it's just adding to that chocolatiness but you could just use plain meringues. They would work really well as well. Just gives it that nice texture. Um, what I will say about my meringues is I left them a couple of days so they have much more of a marshmallowy texture which is just amazing in this dessert. So after the meringue we're going to be adding our chocolate mixture. We're only going to be doing one layer of this because it is really quite rich. Obviously it's just the chocolate and the custard and also it's still warm. Now it's, it's obviously easier to work with it while it's still warm because chocolate once it gets cold it becomes more solid so it becomes a lot thicker. Um, all I would say about that is you're going to get steam on your glasses and there's nothing really that you can do about that but it will go away after about five or ten minutes. So when you're making these desserts if you're making them and then immediately going to serve them just add in a buffer for about ten minutes to allow the steam to go. And really I would say make these about half an hour before you want to eat them and then pop them in the fridge. So on top of the chocolate mixture I'm just adding some of the crumbs from the cake. Obviously we're not adding a lot, there's not a lot left but it's just a little bit of chocolate just to give it some more texture and some more definition and it's really nice. So following that we're going to be adding chocolate drops. You're just going to distribute it evenly between the rest of them. So you might find that you've got a few more chocolate drops to add but that's not a problem. Again it adds to the texture and it makes just, just a really really rich chocolatey dessert. So now we're back to the cream cheese mixture. There's not a massive amount of that left, so you're probably going to be only adding about a tablespoon and a half to each class now. And again, if you want to make this look really neat, then I would say pipe it, but that's not something that I wanted to personally do with these desserts. But if you're doing it and maybe you want a sort of more store-bought kind of look, then I would definitely say use a piping bag. Now with that 100 ml of double cream that I'd left that I didn't add the Baileys to, all I've done is mix it with an electric mixer until it got to the floppy stage. That really doesn't take that long because you don't want peaks of any description. You just want it to nicely be able to settle into the corners of the glass and that really doesn't take very long at all. So if you just add it on the top, it adds a nice little bit of extra colour as well because that cream cheese mixture has a sort of brownie cream kind of look to it from the Baileys, whereas the whipped cream is just completely white. So last but not least, all you need to do is get your block of chocolate and you're just going to grate it over the top of each dessert. 
you'll find that having a bigger block just makes it a little bit easy to do the chocolate shavings but it's completely optional and if you don't have it then obviously you don't need to do it you can't really taste that chocolate it just looks pretty So I really hope that you give this recipe a go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this is obviously a new style of video for me that I'm trying out. So if you like it, please let me know in the comments below because I can go back to doing it the old way. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you did like it, please comment, please like and please subscribe. Have a great day.